Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to Dale Chanel's 48th World, where we feature the family affair. My family, YouTube family over here with me. Sharing in the stories, talking about the situation, the topic at hand, and then they weighing in in the comment section. Okay, everybody get away to say whatever they want to say when they want to say it. Okay, but did not did anyone not know that once Sherry show came out the first day that she had hit a hole in one, she had a, a we call it a home run. Did they not think that Wendy would be feeling some kind of way? And this is where we're at. Some people say she's in the hospital. Some people say she's at a wellness center. Some people say she's at a rehab center. We really don't know. And some people, for the conspiracy theories, say she's not lo- no longer here on Earth. That's a clone walking around. Kind of like Jamie Foxx, don't he? I don't know who that man is, but he with her. I guess he's a handler. I have no idea. Just throwing a little, 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 little knowledge out there for those who can catch it, catch it. For those who over overstand, don't need no understanding. Okay. Oh, but we get this uh, particular article from the Hollywood Reporter. Okay. Brought it out today. A guy named Seth Abrahamovich had wrote it up for us. He gives us a title. Wendy Williams checks into wellness facility. Okay. The move comes just days after Sherry Shepard premiered Sherry, which replaced the outgoing Wendy Williams show. Okay. Wendy Williams ha- has entered a wellness facility seeking help to manage her overall health issues, according to a publicist. She is taking some time to focus on her health and wellness as she prepares for a major comeback for the next level in her career with the Wendy Experience podcast. Williams Rep tells the Hollywood Reporter Miss Williams is being treated by a team of some of the best doctors in the world. We ask for your prayers and well wishes during this time. Now how long we been doing that for Wendy? Okay. For those who think she's still here on this earth. How long? How long? It's what the middle of uh, March, all the way down past September. Here yeah, we finna go into Christmas time, okay? Over the hills we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha ha. Okay, y'all know I'm going with that. I was trying to sing a little Christmas song, but ain't no sense of me going. It's too early, right? It's too early. Okay, we'll fall back. Anyway. Going back to the article, it said Williams 58 stepped away from the Wendy Williams show, a syndicated talk show that made her a household name in 2021, citing an array of health issues, including Graves' disease, lymphedemia, a rotating array of fill ins, sat in her iconic purple chair until Delma Mercury, the show's producer, announced Sherry Shepard will become a full-time replacement in February of 2021. The new show, Sherry, premiered September 12th. And it was an amazing show, the first and second one. And I'll be doing the third one, as in day three, prior to me going to bed. Okay? And and, and, (coughs) an in-depth investigation into Williams' departure by... THR found show staffers were concerned for her well-being and unnerved for a, by a pattern of erotic behaviors. In May, Williams entered into, an, into a legal battle with Wells Fargo, which froze her assets, calling her an incapacitated person and the victim of undue influence and financial exploitation. A New York judge later appointed a financial uh, guardianship. Now, the whole thing is spurred. Uh, spearheaded that 
uh, financial guardianship was because her son had used her, I think, one of her credit cards, American Express personal cards, and charged a hundred grand on it. And that would trigger the investigation to see if, and is it a fact that her son and other people, privy to the knowledge of how much money she has, went and constructed that hundred thousand dollar take from Wendy's account. Okay. <coughs> Williams have been open in the past about her struggles with substance abuse and past stints in sober living facilities. Okay. So that's what they're saying about Paul Wendy now, y'all. They said, Woohoo. That Sherry Show premiere <coughs> did her in. She couldn't take it no more. She had to go and do what she had to do. And that was to, in uh, we call it, have her be an inpatient into some type of wellness center to get her probably sober up so she could feel her pain and not mask it and do talk therapy about it. More than likely, if that's what they're doing. Or she could be going to a place to dry out, okay, before she check out. But for those who think she's already gone, you know, that's a clone walking around. Could be. Can't say it couldn't be. Because they can clo clone a sheep and an ape. And what else did they claim? A lamb, I think. They can clone a human being, all right? But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. It's still up in the air. Nobody know what's going on with Wendy. Hell, Wendy don't even know what's going on with her if you let somebody else tell it. You know what I'm saying? But if you replace somebody that was a well-known icon or figure out in the entertainment world that did an excellent job in reporting celebrities' troubles here and there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and you were on the outs looking in of this new person that's taking over your role, not your show, because they changed the name, still have somewhat of a similarity thing going on, but how would you feel? Would you be pleasing as apple pie? Ready to punch and drunk? Or would you be salty and be like, I got to get my job back. But in the ways that we're being shown how Wendy come and go, how she look to and fro, uh-uh. No ma'am, no sir, no lord. She needs to be up under somebody's hospital for treatment. Because look at her. Does she look like she could possibly do anything but being homeless? That's what she kind of looked like, like she's homeless. Well, not in that particular picture, but the ones that have been flashing across the screen. It doesn't look like somebody who's well-kept, well-groomed, and well-articulate as such Wendy used to be. That's her. She used to be all of those things, and then some. But now, child... She's looking like a child lost, like a child done lost a friend, done lost her way, and done lost religion. You see what I'm saying? Like she's just a homeless child. She's a homeless bum, you know, whatever you want to call it, destitute. And the people that say they're caring about her, like her new manager, is letting her go around like this. Letting her fend for herself. Look at all kinds of lost out there. But that's all I got for this story. I ain't got no more. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye-bye.